Okay, so on cycling news, we have the new Altegra 2018 2017 R8000. I think they've stolen my idea, haven't they? 34 cassettes. Good work. I did a, letter, a video last year, Open Letter Shimano. Did on two channels, had over 100,000 views. Shimano has come back and put a 34 cassette, a mountain bike cassette, first time in history anyone's ever done that on a road group set. So big thumbs up to Shimano for. Uh, listening to what we would like. 34 cassettes, a good start. Now, I still think 34 cassettes is pretty small for the, the adventure gearing, but it's, it's, it's a good start for a lot of bikes, so I'm really happy they're doing that. Um, so we've, got, so we've got variations here, we've got the, so the crank is sort of like the Durace, it's basically like Durace trickled down, same shit really. Uh, I've, been, I've been running Shimano product since 92, so how long has that been? Oh, it's a long time. I rate Shimano, Shimano cycling product for sure. I've got SRAM, use CAMPAG, it's good as well. But we have mechanical shifting to a standard group set, and that's the traditional group set. Now we've got four different types of group sets. We've got mechanical shifting hydro brakes, DI2 mechanical rim, DI2 hydraulic disc brakes. So, and that will be the, the Ultegra brand label, the 80 series, so 8000 series. So, what we've got down, the trickle series, pretty much the same, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the brakes, Ultegra brakes, flat mounts. First time we've seen Ultegra. Stamp on the brakes. Um, so, what else we got here? Boom, 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 boom. Ice tech pads, interesting stuff. What else we got? What else we got? So, the new shifters are much more like the Durace ones currently. I don't really think they needed to upgrade this group set. It was already, already good enough. It was already good enough. It's lighter by two grams. You know, stiff, stiff. I mean, as if. As if anyone on the planet can outflex an Ultegra crank set. I mean, it's like, I <laughs> like, you must be on some pretty good drugs or hallucinogens to think that you could, your crank set is, is flexing because you're putting out fucking 2,000 watts for 20 minutes, you know, like, so yeah. Um, so that's good. They've got compact. There's no, oh, there's a 46, 36, but no, no power meter anyway. So front derail, blah, 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 blah. It looks like it would be cross compatible with current 11 speed Shimano road shifters. And um, what else we got? What else we got? Got two. So the GS version will work with 34. I bet this. I bet the short cage will work fine with the 34. I bet it would work fine with the 34. And when it's released, I'll grab. I'll buy one and let you know. Um, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Same width as a mountain bike cassette. 34 cassette. That's cool. Then I reckon that derailer will probably run a, th a 40 cassette, maybe with no road leg. Uh, look, at this, look at this, more aero. <laughs> I got dropped, guys, because my derailer wasn't aero enough. <laughs> was like, marketing hype. You know, they, they can't just say, hey, shit's good as it is. We couldn't really improve it, so we'll talk about aerodynamics, which don't really matter too much um, on your derailer. You don't need an aero derailer, okay? You don't need aero brakes. Like, it's... <laughs> What is cool here, they've got 28 mil tires will fit officially. So that's good. So we've got a bit more clearance there. Because the old Ultegra didn't have the clearance, the tire clearance, as the 5800 brakes did. The 5800 brakes, in my opinion, is currently the best brake Shimano make on the market. Better than Durace, better than Ultegra currently, because it fits the fat tires. It fits the fat tires. I'm not even sure that sure for Labour's Durace fits the fat tyres because why was Team BMC running 105 brakes in Paru Bay this year for the win? Anyway, so um, the weights, blah, 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 weight doesn't really matter too much. Um, you know, I would say, yeah, it looks like another good group set. Shimano just make good shit, man. Shimano shit, 99% of the time it works. I mean, don't get me started about those uh, Durace uh, 7700 bottom brackets or the uh, XTR 980 pedals that, that spindles unfold themselves but uh, there, has, there has been a few a few 9000 series cranks just snapping well, I've seen that before but otherwise I do rate Shimano product 99% of the time the cycling stuff is just legit share your thoughts down below what do you think is the R8000 and uh, I don't think you've if you've got an R I don't think you've got a 6800 group set you need to upgrade this this that's a group set is really really good but um you know, if you had the choice between this and last year's, then you know, the 6800 versus 8000, the 8000 does look like a better option, mainly because of the brakes, more clearance if you run a 20 mil tires, and 
and that derailleur looks like it could fit a 40 cassette without even using a road link. So maybe even a little bit better shifting. Let us know down below your thoughts if you've used it. Or well, no one's used it actually yet. And there's not even many reviews. reviews. I think my, my channel's the first one to review it. Anyway, enough rambling. I've got to get riding. Cab the fuck up. See you in the road.